I don't really have any aspirations to be a Sega character. <laughs> I'm Anthony Sinkovich. I am a technical group supervisor for GLI Australia. An ISS auditor is responsible to review a client's information security management system, their services and their business practices and determine if they're compliant with their accreditation and also identify any risks that they may pose for information security. The first stage is usually a desktop review of the policies and procedures that make up the ISMS. The second stage uh, is an on-site inspection where we'll go on-site, inspect the premises and the infrastructure and also have interviews with uh, staff. And the final stage is where we prepare the findings report for the audit. A certification such as ISO 27001 publicly shows that the company is implementing information security and not posing a risk to that information security in what they do as a business. I've been playing bass since ooh, early high school, so about 25 years now. There's a few guys in the office that also play musical instruments and we get together and uh, have jams and whatnot. A lot has changed. Probably the biggest change we've seen is probably in the introduction of security. We use uh, purpose-built tools uh, such as protocol simulators, uh, some of which we have developed in-house. We use the tools to generate specific scenarios uh, and also to view the contents of packets. The two main reasons are it may be a part or a requirement of their accreditation scope or it may be a condition of their licensing operating conditions. Regulatory standards are needed wherever there is something at stake. For gaming, uh, these are usually security, fairness, integrity and protection of players. In my time at GLI, I've written a few standards. We live in an information age and we're more connected than ever before. That convenience brings risks. Uh, so a part of a risk assessment is looking at the likelihood of something occurring and the consequence if it was to occur. Once we've identified the risks, we can then mitigate the risks.